What we're going to do today is get you started with the basics of how to be a bricklayer, how to spread mud. And so this first tape that we have is how to spread mud for block and basics on how to use a trowel. All right, now basically, this is the trowel. It hasn't changed in 5,000 years. Here is the handle. This is the shank. The wide part is the heel and the point of the trowel. Now, all through this class, you're going to hear me talking about use the point of your trowel, use the point of your trowel. When I say use the point of your trowel, I'm talking about this part right up here. That's from here up. That is the point of the trowel. All right, now we're going to start off with the way to hold a trowel. Hold your hand out and you see the second joint on your first finger. That is where you put the shank. Now you put your thumb on top of it and just let it relax. This is called neutral. Now you'll hear us say bring the trowel back to neutral. When I say bring it to neutral, this is what I'm talking about. That's neutral. Now just sit and kind of play with the trowel a little bit. Kind of flip it around in your hand, get used to it. Now, now the first thing that you're going to do, that you've got to learn to do, is to take and turn the trowel upside down. I want you to hold it at your side with your thumb on top of it and swing it, turn it upside down. Turn it upside down. Now I'm doing this with just my thumb and my finger upside down. Notice that my hand stays in the same position just like I was shaking hands with somebody. In other words, I don't want to see you going like this. I don't want to see you doing like this. See, turning your whole arm up. I want you to learn to twist it with your finger. So here we go. Turn it upside down. 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 Get in the habit of swing. Everything is always a swing. Stand there and turn it upside down. Upside down, upside down, upside down. Okay, now what we're going to do next is we're going to make some dry runs. So, turn it upside down, bring it down at an angle. Get, bring it in. Just like you were sharpening a knife. Upside down, upside down. Upside down, turn it upside down, turn it upside down and let the weight, what you're doing is letting the weight bring it down. I don't want to see you going like this, going like this. If I have to, I'll make you bring your arm up like this. Bring it up, turn it upside down, bring it down. I'd rather see you doing this. Then doing this. Okay, now, as you can see, I don't want you holding it straight up. You've got to be in at an angle. At an angle. Turn it upside down. At an angle. Not straight up, but at an angle. Face in. The reason being is I don't want you to get mortar all over this edge. Because this edge will soon be brick or block, and you can't be smearing it. So you must turn it upside down and hold it at an angle. Turn it upside down, hold it at an angle. Now let's just simply say that you forget to roll it upside down. Let's say you just bring it halfway up. Now I want you to watch my elbow. See how I'm having to bring my elbow around and do it? Bring my elbow around. A lot of bricklayers do this. They'll take and they'll throw their hand up like that. Well, what it does, it'll wear your shoulder out, your elbows, your back. You'll be wearing back braces and everything else. So that by simply rolling it upside down, that keeps your arm straight. See how much easier and effortlessly I'm working? Makes it a lot easier. 
See, I forgot this time. Now look at my elbow. Okay? Look at my elbow. I'm having to hike up. Okay? See how uncomfortable that is? Okay, so not only does this wear your body out, you're going to do this about 2,000 times a day. So you stand there and go like this for 2,000 times, and while you're doing this 2,000 times, I'm going to lay 100 block or 150 block. So we're going to teach you how to be streamlined and how to not wear your body out at the same time. So let's just practice what we've learned. We're holding the trowel in neutral position. Turn it upside down. Slow motion, bring it down at an angle. Upside down, bring it down at an angle. Upside down, keeping my arm nice and straight, down at an angle. Do not turn it halfway and have to bring your elbow clear up like this to spread mud for block. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Okay, now I want you to stand here and practice this. Upside down, bring it down. Upside down, bring it down. And when you're getting it to where you turn it upside down, you bring it down at an angle, you're ready to proceed further. Now we're going to talk about this mortar and how to get the mortar out of the pile that it's in. There's several ways to do it, but here I'm going to teach you my way to do it, of which I think it will save your body and not wear your body out. The worst thing that you can do to pick up mortar is stick your trowel in like this and pop it down. Okay, when you pick it up, pop it in like that, that is tearing your arm up. If you do this for a long time, in other words, your body is taking too much of the shock. So don't ever do that. This is the worst way that you can do it. This will tear you up. Do not do it like that. Okay, the second worst way is if you take your trowel, stick it straight in, and try to pull it out. All of that mortar will act as a suction cup on it and make it hard to pull out. We don't want that to happen. Therefore, the way we want you to do it, hold the trowel in neutral, get your trowel in, and drop it. When I say drop it, just drop the point. Don't hit it here. Drop it like that, it'll splatter all over you. You don't want to do that. They can pick it up and just drop the point. They can pick it up and just drop the point. Do that three or four times. Pick it up until you got it on your trowel. Now a lot of students worry about the mud falling off, getting on their hands, on their feet and everything else. Don't worry about the mortar falling off. As you can see, it'll stay on. As you can see, it'll stay on. If you pack it. Okay, now then, we're going to do everything that you've learned so far, which is stand in neutral, Swing it up, turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Okay, now when you get to the end, I want you to take, scoop the mud back in. Notice the way I'm cutting it in. This is a way to do it so that you don't drop as much on the floor. We're going to try to teach you from day one of being neat. You have got to learn to be neat. Okay, as you shove it back in like that, take the point of your trowel, remember the point, hold it across there to cut the mud off. Just get in the habit of cutting the side. Now, every time that you cut, take the trowel and you take the trowel and you cut the mortar off, you do it in a manner just like you were shaving. In other words, you don't shave like this. You wouldn't shave somebody like that. You wouldn't shave anybody like that. So always take it just like you were shaving your face. And just cut that mud off. Okay? Now let's go again. Pack that mud. 
Turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it back. Alright? Shove it back here. Take the point of the trowel, cut it off, throw it back in. Okay. Now then, do the same thing. Pack it down, turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. As you can see, when you turn it upside down, if you're doing it right-handed, if you're right-handed, you're turning it counterclockwise. Okay? Turn it upside down, bring it down. Okay, now then we shove it back in place. Now let's just say, for example, that you were left-handed. Same thing, except you're turning it clockwise. A left-handed person turns it clockwise. Turns it clockwise. In other words, the left-handed person turns it clockwise, bring it down. Turn it clockwise, bring it down. Turn it clockwise, bring it down. And a left-handed person will shove it in like this. Since more, more people are left uh, right-handed. We're going to show you everything right-handed and left-handed. All right? All right, now then, we're going to go around the board. If you're working on the board by yourself, that means you've got all four corners of the board. So we're going to assume that you're working by yourself. If there was four people on the board, you would have one corner. If it was two people, then you would start here, and you'd have this side, the second person would start there, and he would move these two sides. So now we're going to follow around learning everything that we've learned so far. Okay? Drop the mud. Pick it up. Turn it down. Side down. Now notice how I'm keeping my body parallel. Go all the way down. I don't want to see you standing over here trying to do like this, because if you did, you just fell off the building. In other words, play it, imagine that this is a wall, and you're walking backwards, spreading mud. When you get to the end, you simply turn your body at a 90 degree angle to it, turn it upside down, bring it in. Turn it upside down, this is the way you spread the rock. Upside down. Take at least three times to get four feet. You must put down enough mud where you can lay block. Now you turn around, turn it upside down, bring it down. Now let's just say you're right-handed. I'll do this side like a left-handed person. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it upside down, bring it down. Upside down. Bring it down. Okay, here we go. Pat that mud down. Upside down. Bring it down. Roll it upside down. Bring it down. Okay, now remember to push it back in. <coughs> push that side in. Make your trial. Take and shave it. Shave this side. Okay, push it in. Push it around. Now the right-handed person push it back in, cut it in, shaves it Comes over here, pushes it in, shaves it. Now let's go over it all again. You're standing here in neutral. Got your trowel in neutral, your thumb on top, dig it in, turn it upside down, bring it down. Turn it 
Turn it upside down. Bring it down. Turn it upside there. Bring it down. This is a right-handed person going backwards. Turn sideways. Always stay and always walk backwards. Upside there. Turn it upside there. Bring it over. Turn it upside down. Bring it over. Now, I don't want to see you trying to do this. It doesn't matter how far you can spread. It's getting enough mud to where it will hold up a block. I don't want to see you doing this. Taking it, coming down like this, you know, because you can't lay anything on that. In other words, take at least three times to get four feet. At least three times. Here's the left-handed person. Upside down, bring it over. Okay, now down the left-handed person. Push it back in. Shave it. Push it back in. Shave it. The right-handed person. Push it back in. Shave it. Push it back in. Shake it. Now, our students, now what I want you all to do for now is to practice everything that I've showed you, spreading mud for blocks for two to three hours. Thank you.